Glass eyes informed. She started moving. A circle of manias needs a release from the universe and the human laws prohibiting. She started moaning. She was asleep. She was a body morphing. She was something else to love. She had, she had indecent diaries composed like clockwork. A heart attack buffet and man raised black dahlia. Tasting silver words from iron tongues, her brimstone eyes and salty water, she pulled herself back out escaping. Let it slowly slide, eggs in the jar, slippery sliding. Just a habit, a fungus of time. A Christ clone walked out the door that morning to catch the bus as the crackle and shimmer of glass ravens littered the crimson countryside. Taste ebony, she started feeling, these actions frightened. At 4 a.m., at the crossroads, she marked time with her knives in her spittle, used her love as a gag for a prison sentence. In disbelief, it was her home, reach for the telephone. A craving was drawn into her, forcibly undressed. It initiated the trigger, slowly pushed time, and still didn't get it. Another victim, shot down after being found out, pushed it back in without opening. The remaining victims wore coats of liquid nitrogen, three categories of intercourse. A tongue cries. She removed the rusted iron roses, replacing them with black irises. It just started getting worse and worse. An innocent sex asylum, a performance of funeral rites. Sex acts recreated in tempera, semi-arranged glass fingers to be sterilized in boiling water. Never completed, frozen in interruption, a displaced soul frenzy of pedigree doll eyes in a tray from which she picked and chose at whim. This was another mess. She knew chances were slim, a bad circle, two slices. Then she sucked out time, mauled the family structure. The songstress crucified the hearts of silica dolls and the tongues of wealthy men were nailed quickly to the wall. They were the symptom, not a reason. Constantly shifting bodies, they pointed mistakes out to her. She sealed the envelopes of black tissue with her vibrating tongue and mailed back her responses. A strega multiplies the sky seven times until a climax in a juice spurt and stands back to admire her handiwork. She manhandles the moon and the eyes of the collaborators. A snake crescendo. In the heterosexual context, she knew that she should forgive, but she couldn't and never did. While another man is about to be assembled for a performance. These may resemble existing figures. Don't want it anymore. Thank you. This one's called Electrical Faces. Want something now. Examination room. These experiments sometimes take so long. The attempts at communication and touch. They slide fast away, no talking. Neurological theory of fucking sped up. Midbrains coming in the house on every corner of small town USA due to be annihilated. She spreads her legs wide, a functional circuit beneath the current. A stage is set for a reading of their expressions. Once the images were torn down, and the rubble whitewashed to prevent recreation by two completely separate organs exploding in plastic ether. You love that thing above us that never touches us, so divided with the songs about rock-cut bourbon flames sucked down in despair, dwelling on the poignancy of the induced expressions of the mechanism of humans as our muscles contracted, retching caused by the invasive treatments. I want you to show me expression of the passions into action Terror from a photograph, reason unknown. <laughs> Drive-in intermission. A countess licks the walls. She said she would send photos to her husband whenever she was in pleasure. Fingered, now unbuttoned, touched and not forgotten. Burnt wardrobe, ashes cast, deep heart kisses. There laid the ingenues, sexual figurine first vamp, her sign lurked figure cast in black iron, place the hands on the legs, make up tests of domesticity, standing in an anagram so naturally, trying out her name. Nearby lay a hit and run, kiss me before I die. She suckled a blackbird at dawn, smiling as her flesh warmed gradually, kiss me before I die, wash sins clean abruptly. She was masquerading as a gamine, cloaked in fluid cool, synchronized player pianos transmitting code. She rehooked to replace the profile, Arrested for shoplifting as she unhooked her bra, across her tongue productions, empty corset and gloves pointed in her direction. Lived for acting amorously, reincarnated several times as browbeaten. She was basically made and stumbled silently. One critic jerked absurdly and expired exquisitely, in tune with the setting sun and collapsing buildings. 
let's all go to the food stand and imagine real fucking wet fingers dance, wet fingers touch, oddball men experiments, disproving the scientific method. <laughs> Uh, the last one from this book is called Honey Honeymoon Homicides, a Tactile Confession. Go back and see it. Virgins were impaling. Looks like a good place for a murder, she said to no one in particular. She lifted her dress and fingered herself, count our desires. Watched by no one in particular. After a climax, she tasted her fingers and breathed in deeply, relishing the aroma of salt and mucosa sweetness. He watched. It reminded him of two years ago. That place. Those people. The wailing and the redness flooding the trees, drenched. She had been arrested, but the arresting officers let her beat the rap after she pleasured them. All tissues were split and the retreated carrying souvenirs. They will be found. It's just a pinpoint on the map. Tears of distress are outdated. Count our desires. Knife cuts are daring in public. Prison is painful and must be avoided at all costs. An angel of 1,000 faces goes insane. Lighting was bad and her lab you were engorged. She said, I don't want to hold it together. I crave atomization, fragmentation, annihilations. Want to rest but can't. My feet and eardrums ache. She gazed at the marking on her left hand. What have you lost? Go back and see it. Manx, cat slipping. Count your pleasures. Mucosa liquid quenched their thirst. As the floor tilted for a short while, she slipped time again. The world will be moved by a pussy hallucination just to please you. Let them taste a third of the strippers in line. That may be something for you. Maybe dead burlesque. He wouldn't have dreamed of doing anything to her. Another revelation, she had to perform for audiences that knew her past history. She was a victim of her own celebrity, touring clubs, committing murders, mounting her victims before and after, taxidermy exquisite portraits. She spoke about her last friend. She loved killing as an art form. She would hide from the neighbors, engage in licking and double penetration, count our pleasures, finger your soul. Like many of our species, she kept me penetrated by two objects, she appeared usually in underground clubs and her mouth moaned in dulcet tones. Kodachrome is the color of her truth. A Manx cat slipping down the alley. Go back and see it. Go back and see it. It's going to be a wonderful night. She said, why did I do it? Because the virgins impaled their lovers. Perverted anointing. Thank you. Chemical teens. Charles Starkweather died for your sins. He made the teenage dream explode on the corner of Maple Street while devouring neon women. Sickly, sweet towns. Fast car, speedy death. James Dean myopic. Wet with gasoline. Carol sat down to meditate, wrapped in the American flag, and lit the match. Death flash. To punish herself for a family's murder. Love is strange. Crippled, exploding hearts ruptured in the whirlpool. The spree was over. He climaxed with an electric bolt, and the oceans turned red, and the sky wrenched the purple rip. They took him away, and she denied him. Went to the church. Smack your face against the door. At dawn, she crawled slowly and eventually circled around his remains. Her eyes burned, lips parched, and the itch in the end to lie down in cool dirt. Another serial killer poem. <laughs> Death Valley Confidential. Sexy Sadie and Leslie mourned. Another mansion of old Hollywood was torn down the previous evening. The dune buggy attack battalion left them on the street. A peyote wrestled. Two women drugged, burnt, lonely. They dreamt, that they laughed, that they told each other secrets, that they would lay in wait for fever smiles of Death Valley. Unable to cry in private, unable to share grief, a static electric pain, embarrassed and silent. They longed for a television, a peak, to watch themselves on the evening news. Mom and Dad are blind. Dreams of carving avenging words in blood as they pirouetted at night on the silver screen. Seventy times seven times the fingernail scratched the air. A cyclone destroyed the roller coaster of the Madchens. Seventy times seven not forgiven. True desert, she said, as the dune buggy attack battalion drove up and slammed to America's heartland. Watching crucified cartoons for Saturday morning, finishing dreams, they knocked down the doors, watched TV and left the red pools dried and no one knew. Blank air, black sound. They marveled at her dreams, hurdy-gurdy reversal, a theremin aflame. The women lay down in the sand and kissed the gasoline from each other's eyes. Eyes connected out of gas. 
Bomby Ann far from time's reach. Sexy Sadie and Leslie held each other. They were afraid of sleep, so they stared blankly. At home, the chronically ill priests ate the remains of the congregation, slept so bloody and bare, and watched the churches burn. Next few poems um, have uh, come from my latest book, which hasn't been published yet, Vanished Faces, and each title in the poem refers to a room in a building. That's pretty much the whole gist of the plot of the book. Room 2, a reference guide to forensic agonies. Delectable darling, so merciless, so antiseptic, executions by guillotine were done for her liberty. X marks the spot with two slits in the skin, used to suck out the poison because God won't help them. It's comfortable, just like it was at Cielo Drive. We were all fucking the beast with one million eyes. Please help, please help make things go fine. I hear Manson is getting married. This attracted great crowds of varying size and style. We were buried in the unconsecrated graveyard, then we lived on the temple grounds. What do you think about your angled blade, the first political wartime collaboration with Room to Spare? I fucked someone, an eminent symbol. Your first red fuck, was it a downer? Revel in your pathetic fertility while I crave your ultimate wasting. Wipe out and erase all traces of our communion. Listen, the slapping of our flesh. They had an unbelievable capacity for pain. Close the door, others may hear us. So sassy, so curvy. He's not my boyfriend, she said. And with that, the condemned were dying in brothels. Her hand felt a cancerous heart. Her mouth bit my throbbing mind. Shaky. The hell of smooth, smooth, creamy flesh, the turning of a magnet, resulting in a series of explosive orgasms. She knows who you are. Staying hot for a violent crime, especially for a blue murder, she started to go down to hide the guns. She tugged, she tugged, she tugged, and couldn't exit from the neon whiplash. That justifies the evil in the world. She loves to be filled as well, and she loves to plunge to hurt. One long stroke, just an art movement. Passion avoided, she wants another hot load. Corrugated cardboard lives out of balance. Room 3, imprint of 3 a.m. Fleck the eyes of our love embedded in silence, becoming a shadow wrapped around us. Isn't it a case of wireism? A few low words caught taste impaled on pent up anger. What's the catch? Is it dishonest? What's the catch? Is it dishonest? Sadistically surrounded, tangled, sweaty, tasty, hard. Her mind drifted. She could not even rest during her lives. Do you approve? Down in the basement where these things frequently occur, those incidents that are rarely talked about, the dust becomes dogs, woolly creatures of deceit, a musty smell. They possess decaying eyes, they're hidden behind fractured lenses, and they stopped singing 100 years ago. The palsied, malevolent mason wears a leather apron. He smells of plaster and blood. He puts the bricks into place. He's blind but works by touch. He's blind, they say, from a sexual dysfunction. He's trapped forever, building walls with ridges, jutting one inch into nighttime, side on side by side structures. He relayed stories they knew of people who preferred to exist but weren't allowed, who were strapped in leather to the sky. He said that on certain days, on certain grounds, there was a suspicion of wet pussy, a slight thud in the distant past. The destructive darlings walked back and forth, slowly starting, the pace gradually quickens, to and fro, to and fro, pulling up tight, forced to escape the prison cells. Women panted, guidance please. Out, alone, voided, to and fro. I'm gonna end with this new one. A crippled mariposa for Priscilla Hepburn. Phase one, a beauty museum, interleaved. A touch of pain between sin and sweat, Rapid fire flesh, touching water drops slippery. Redemption she can't let go. Schizophrenia was the maintenance pressured by the censorship. It went so fast. She ran, she could barely breathe when she found out about the deep inside flesh secrets. Don't worry about events to come. How about beginning to travel downtown? Pornographic activity is expression. She was fueled by pain and mutual sobbing and olfactory satisfaction. It was dispersed between her love and the squealing hate nail to the wall Behind her were random masks from the random encounters and dirty, painful bars and frequent sideshows. Pinching up the time between princes, pinces of hate. I can't face any more what you've become. Your mistress removed the clotting factor, so the lust could flow freely. Are you holding? 
the organ moved inside latex sheets and convulsed three times on Sunday morning. All the while, the trees were bathed with her hysterical laughter. She whispered, I fucked Jack the Ripper last night, and I came so much, we loved us. Let's fuck Jack the Ripper again tonight. Let's live a little. Eyes rolled up, lids flooded under opium kisses, bullets ripped the halos. Shattering, shattering fantasies always overlooked, never to become real. Can you fix me? Must you fix me? Can you touch me? I love betrayal and its sound, the supply of exquisite finery. A round of electroconvulsive therapy reducing baptism. She knew about the UFOs, the flesh given to her, eyes hidden. When this is over, we'll go meet the wild boys, we'll finish the crucifixions we started, nailing fate to the broken glass skies. The religious fanatics will be skinned and their shadows buried under the assaulting sun overhead. Thank you. <laughs>